sure I had a new name for you all today. So today I'm going to be going over my uh, cosplay makeup must-haves, or basically the makeup that I always tend to have with me at conventions uh, or for photo shoots. I apologize in advance if the lighting isn't that great. Um, it's pretty cloudy out right now, and uh, at the moment I'm just using a window for my lighting. I'm like right in front of a window right now, so so that's what I use. Um, I have actually ordered a couple of softbox uh, lights, so those are hopefully going to be on their way soon, so hopefully by my next video I'll have a better setup. Um, I think my next goal is going to be to get a beauty light or ring light because I see a lot of beauty bloggers use uh, use that and it makes them look super gorgeous. I think it's super cool and it just illuminates your face and just, and just makes them look like flawless little dollies. I don't know. Actually, I've got a new look going on today. Um, I actually decided to lowly it up a bit. I'm actually in kind of a gothic Lolita outfit today. I received this blouse recently from the Floral Notebook on Facebook. I just ordered this cameo, this necklace, uh, as an accessory. I'm probably going to get a longer chain though because it's kind of short as it is right now and I'd like, to, like it to come down a little bit longer. Um, and then finally this wig, which I ordered from Gothic Lolita Wigs, and it came in a couple days ago, so I was really excited about that. And I am a sucker, as you can see, like my walls in here are painted very light seafoam green. My comforter is is seafoam striped, so I, I love seafoam green, aqua, teal, turquoise. So anyway, I'll get on with the video because that's what you're here for. First things first, um, whenever I'm going, whenever I'm cosplaying at a convention, getting my makeup ready, uh, I always use a primer first thing after I'm done washing and moisturizing my face, of course. Um, I've been using Smashbox uh, Photo Finish primer in just the clear. I know there are different uh, different shades that you can get depending on your skin concern. Next I use, I go on to my foundation, which I've been using for the last few years. I've been using Lancome Taint Idol, X, Taint Idol Ultra 24 Hours, and I'm pretty sure I butchered that name. This is in their lightest shade, I believe it's Ivory, Ivory Neutral or Ivory N. I find a little bit goes a long way, and it's got that super long wear factor, which is pretty much needed for conventions. Actually, it's very needed for conventions, since you're often more active than usual at conventions. You're walking a lot, usually, and um, depending on the weather, you know, it's especially here in Texas, a lot of conventions are held during warmer parts of the year, so I find that having a long wear foundation is a must for, uh, for convention cosplay makeup. You don't have to spend a fortune on cosplay makeup, but I do believe that you should, you should buy the nicest quality makeup or anything, I guess that applies for anything really related to cosplay that you can afford. As far as cosplay makeup goes, you can find stuff at the drugstore that works just fine. Um, before using this, I was using drugstore makeup. Uh, really the thing, the catalyst that led me to buy a more like high-end brand for foundation was I was having skin issues and a lot of the drugstore brands I found just felt really heavy on my skin and just really kind of exacerbated my my oiliness and my acne. So I reached out I reached out to a few cosplayers who had similar skin that I have and they recommended they recommended this. If you do have problematic skin or just really sensitive skin, I'd encourage you to find something that works for you. If you do find you have to spend a little bit more to get something that you really love and that doesn't irritate or break out your skin, then definitely go for it. Because your skin is important. I always bring a concealer with me. Even if you find that you normally don't have problems with under eye circles, cameras always bring out all of your flaws and bring out stuff that you weren't even aware of existed on your face. So I definitely recommend going over your under eye area, regardless of if you see dark under eye circles, um, it'll make a world of difference. 
Um, also, if you have any blemishes or areas of redness, definitely cover them up with with concealer. Um, I chose I chose like a pot or solid kind of concealer because I read that that was the best for my skin type. Um, if you have a drier skin type, you might find a liquid concealer to work better for you. Um, and I I love this concealer. Like I find it goes on really really well and it covers pretty much everything. Um, it's a really nice full coverage concealer, but my only complaint is that it comes in the pot, so it's like, I don't know, I, I'd i rather have it come out in a tube, which I guess is impossible since it's a solid, but I do prefer the tubey kind of concealers that you can just squeeze out onto your fingers and apply because then you don't have to worry about bacteria growing in them or and possibly contaminating them with your fingers. I actually use a concealer brush with with this to try and cut down on the amount of bacteria that can get inside it. Next thing is I always have a an eyeshadow primer and it helps prevent creasing of your eyeshadow and just overall oiliness that can accumulate and just make your eyeshadow look bad. Um, and it helps your eyeshadow actually look brighter and stand out a bit more. This thing is powder. Always have powder. Always have to have powder. Um, it just kind of just kind of mattens out your face, is that even a word? Basically gives you a nice matte finish and, and keeps all of your foundation and your concealer and everything in place. Uh, this is actually just a drugstore find. Um, it's Revlon Photo Ready. I don't know if it's the greatest powder out there, but it works well for me, so I like it. It was like, it's like 10 or $11. Um, there are cheaper powders too that you can get, but I just like this one because it's photo ready and it has like, I think I want to say it has like minerals or, or some kind of reflecty bits in it that make it good for photo shoots and make your skin look good for photo shoots. Perfected airbrush skin in any light, translucent, shine-free, soft, luminous finish. I always find it's really helpful to have a nude eyeshadow or neutral eyeshadow palette for cons because I find it's the most versatile and it tends to work for a lot of different character types. Um, it works for cross-playing. You can use the matte shades to contour your face with it. It also works for just kind of like basic characters that don't really look like they're wearing any makeup. So this is the first palette that I have. This is the Revealed palette from Coastal Scents. And I usually use this one a lot for contouring since it has uh, since it has a few matte shades in kind of medium and, and cool tone browns that I like using for contouring. And then this is my more glamorous nude eyeshadow palette. It is the Nuditude palette from The Bomb Cosmetics. And I actually received this as a gift from a very dear friend uh, for my birthday, and I just love it. I, I use the heck out of it. Um, it's got a lot of nice shimmery shades and a few nice matte shades, too. So I find it works really well for doing, like, young uh, schoolgirlish type characters. Your eyeshadow needs are going to vary depending on the kind of character you're cosplaying as. Um, if you're cosplaying as someone who visibly wears more dramatic makeup, you're going to want to account for that and bring like maybe a different or more extensive eyeshadow palette with you with those specific colors that you need. Um, it's also really good to have a little palette of like nice just kind of neutral matte shades or whatever, whatever wig color you're wearing, you want to have like a nice matte shade so that you can apply it to your eyebrows and have your eyebrows kind of match or closely match your wig. White sparkly eyeshadow is really awesome. It just kind of brightens up your eyes. I use it usually under my brow bone and sometimes I also use it under my eye. Another thing I find indispensable for cosplay makeup is a, a white eyeliner pencil. This is the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil and I just love it because it's a really nice it's a really nice shimmery pearlescent white, and these this is great for w lining your waterline and for lining the inner corners of your eye. Of course, you're going to need eyeliner, and I actually really, really prefer felt tip eyeliners over any other kind of eyeliner 
because you can really get precise. You can get really nice, precise wing, winged eyeliner if you need it. Um, and it just, it really, it really helps you control the thickness of your eyeliner. It is really good to carry a pencil, like a soft, smudgy pencil eyeliner with you as well. Um, it's good for tight lining your eyes, and it's also good for lining your waterline if you need, like, black if you need black liner on your waterline. Oh yes, uh, blush is also a necessity, um, especially if you're cosplaying youthful, um, more youthful, like schoolgirly type characters, or just cute characters in general. It's always good to have a light pink or peachy blush on hand. And of course you want to have mascara. Now I actually have been using the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara lately, which Although I think it's a little too dramatic for everyday wear, I really love it for cosplay because it's super dramatic and it gives your lashes great volume and length. I actually got this from an Ipsy bag. Um, it's quite expensive uh, for the full size product, more expensive than I'd usually spend on a mascara. But I'm so pleased with it that I may actually go ahead and buy the full size when I'm when I'm all done with this little mini trial size. Um, another thing, this isn't terribly necessary if you're already quite good at putting on uh, false lashes, but I find these help me a ton. They're cotton-tipped cosmetic applicators that I got at the dollar store, and they are phenomenal. They're, they're like Q-tips, but they've got a pointed tip as you can see, they're just nice and pointy and they help with really getting those inner corners down uh, if you struggle with those like I do sometimes. And then they've got a flat side which I find, which I use for actually like flipping, like kind of combining my natural lashes to the fake lashes. Like I kind of just like press up, I'll do it on this side, I kind of just press up my normal lashes to the fake lashes and I find it just helps blend them a little bit better. I think the last thing is eyelashes! I have like a bag of eyelashes, but I usually only bring like one or two pairs with me to conventions. Um, I find that these are a really nice style for anime cosplay. They just look very animu to me. They have the long kind of interspersed, kind of almost spiky looking lashes. But, I mean, you can get smaller lashes, you can get bigger lashes. They come in all different sorts of styles. Um, I actually really like these for when I'm not really feeling like wearing lashes, but I still kind of need them. Um, I just find that these are really kind of natural looking lashes, uh, if you could call them that. They're the Revlon Beyond Natural style, and I just picked these up at CVS. As for lips, I tend to go really kind of natural. I've been using this, uh, this soft matte lip cream from NYX a lot lately. This is in the color uh, Cairo, and it's just a very like light, nude, almost kind of peachy color. Um, pinks, light pinks are really nice too to use for just basic kind of anime cosplay or Lolita, uh, especially if you're going with classic or sweet Lolita. Of course, today I've got on a darker lip because I wanted to experiment with kind of more like darker gothic Lolita kind of look. This has been my favorite gloss to use lately too, is this uh, Victoria's Secret Pr Prismatic Kiss gloss. It's really shimmery. It's a really nice kind of peachy, almost kind of corally shade. And it just, it just goes on very sheer and just gives you a very light wash of color. It's very nice to put on after you've either put on a lipstick or a lip liner. And last but not least, I like to set everything in place, especially if I'm going to a convention, and especially if it's hot outside. I use a makeup setting spray, and, and there are a few brands that have come out with their own version of the, of the setting spray by now, but I, I use the Urban Decay. Um, all-nighter makeup setting spray and I just find that it's really nice. It keeps my makeup from melting off or running off or even smudging off. So yeah, this will really kind of preserve the longevity of your makeup and make you look good even even late in the day when you're maybe not maybe not feeling like you look so good. So that's basically my my cosplay makeup must-haves. I will of course link everything that I use down below in the description box. I also used most of these products in my previous video, which was a, which was my kawaii cosplay anime makeup tutorial. So check that out if you have the chance. I hope that was helpful for you. Um, definitely 
definitely let me know if, if this was helpful or if you'd like me to touch on, you know, some other aspect of cosplay makeup or just cosplay in general that would be helpful to you. Um, let me know in the comments. I try to respond to every comment that I get. Um, and if you enjoyed this video, definitely give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. You, that would mean the world to me. And uh, yeah, so thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time. Thank you.